And the federal government says it remains committed to resettling all internally displaced persons in Zamfara and other crisis affected states. The Federal Commissioner, National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons, Iman Suleiman, also says the Tsunami IDP's transit camp in Kusou will be upgraded. Theophilus Darofai reports. It's one of the northern states with the highest number of internally displaced persons due to the activities of armed bandits. Communities in Zamfara have experienced attacks and abductions for ransom for over a decade. The federal government has, through the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons, made efforts to cater for those displaced. <laughs> the agency is confident that all internally displaced persons will soon be resettled. The resettlement city for the internally displaced persons is about 95% completed. The federal commissioner of the agency is on assessment tour to Tsunami IDP Transit Camp in Guso alongside the APC National Women Leader. They are here to assess the needs of the IDPs and assure of the Buhari administration's commitment to improving the living standard of IDPs and vulnerable persons. There's a rise in man-made and natural disasters and we need to kind of double up efforts, coordinate our efforts so that we can be able to do more. We're almost completing, so in the next few months we should begin to see occupancy of the resettlement city. President Muhammad Buhari has done a lot to intervene and provide support for internally displaced persons as well as refugees in Nigeria. The new resettlement city that is coming up that is 95% completed. These are all efforts to help them resettle, to help them live a normal and more productive life and contribute their own quota to nation building. To this end, the Tsunami IDP's transit camp will be upgraded with modern equipment and the affected persons will be empowered. We have decided with the Zamfara State Government to rehabilitate the tsunami camp and upgrade it into a proper community. And they're all excited. And I'm looking forward to the finish work because I know that it, it, it will elevate them and provide soccer. We've addressed them, we've encouraged them, and we'll give them some cash transfer interventions under the APC, the Women's Wing. We are more interested in providing financial empowerment to the women, the IDPs, and then of course also taking care of their health. The move to upgrade IDP camps across the country is part of efforts by the federal government and affected states to reduce the hardship faced by the displaced persons as a result of the current security challenges. Tiefle Zarufai, TVC News, Gusau.